Hey everybody, it's Lori Houston with Lori Houston Art. I've decided to do um, something fun on an oval canvas tonight, um, another experiment, because I'm gonna use some fun colors, but I'm actually going to swipe with a TLP pigment. And this one is velvet. And it's got, can you see that purple kind of tint to it? Um, it's just really, really luscious. I'm going to show you. Oh my gosh. So I've decided all I did was mix it with a little bit of my GAC 100. I've put a little bit of Floetrol in there and we're going to swipe and see how it dries. So that is going to be our test for tonight. So I appreciate you being here and um, I will look forward to comments. If, if you enjoyed it, give me a big thumb thumbs up, hit the subscribe and the bell. I'd love to see you come back. Um, but let's get started and try this um, fun experiment. See you there. I could not have a great night without mentioning to everybody that this weekend on the 29th and 30th, we have amazing, 13 amazing artists and two shining stars. And we'll be doing a Halloween spooky collaboration. A big thank you to Donna. We all know Donna. It's art by Donna, but she's so much more than art. We love you, Donna. Please, everyone, join us this weekend for this amazing collaboration. See you there. Okay, it is Tuesday Night Choo Choo with friends. Holly from The Morning Pour. She's before me if work is allowing her to be here tonight. Miss you, Holly. And then we have Camille Amoy Art. She is up next. And then Nate Bright Art after Camille. I'm so excited to be a part of this train. We are so gracious to have all of you here. And I just want to say a big thank you to my friends that are on the train for supporting me, for always commenting and being there. Um, it just means the world to me. And for all of you that continue to come back, thank you, thank you. And I am very excited about doing this experiment tonight, so we're going to get down to the canvas. Don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up if you enjoy this train. Go back and check out all the videos and hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channels grow. Okay, let's get started. See you there. Hi, everybody. Okay, let's get started. Our colors are going to be ultraviolet. And this is a Mondo Llama that I get at Target. And then we're going to be using another Mondo Llama. And this is um, Magical Pegasus. And then I have this little sample bottle of Golden's Ultramarine Blue. I've used it a lot of times, but I thought those colors would be good together. And then we're going to be swiping with that TLP. TLP Velvet. It's a beauty. Check it out. Okay, let's get started with our colors. We're going to start with some of the um, Magical Pegasus. Beautiful. And then we'll go with some of the Ultraviolet. Beautiful color. Okay. We'll go ahead. Whoop, wrong bottle. We'll add some of the um, ultramarine blue. Beautiful. Let's go back with some of this magenta. Pretty. I'm going to drizzle, I think, a little bit. I don't have a lot of the... Um, so I don't want to use a lot because I only have enough to swipe. I think it's... Okay, to swipe. Okay, let's go ahead and smooth this out. Okay, so my camera cut off. I hate when that happens, but I went ahead and I just smoothed it out. I squirted a little bit more of each color, and then I did a small line in the center of the TLP velvet and another line at the top with the TLV, TLP velvet. Um, say that fast three times. So it, this experiment, I can tell already the pigments are a little bit lighter, so they might sink in. And so I just want one of the very thin 
Walmart paper towels. And um, I am actually just trying to pull the TLP over it very lightly so that it creates some sort of um, glisten because this velvet has that real shimmery purple in it. So it really did do what, what I was expecting. Um, so now I'm just going to tip it out and get my background started for my flower pop. I will see you there. with I think I want to just do some flowers coming off this way so we're gonna start we're gonna go with the flow of the paint um, and I'm actually using Raven black that is a luscious color by our alchemy Hi everybody okay I am actually working with the flowers so a couple things um, swiping with a pigment is really different I love the film that it leaves over this canvas I am so excited about the results they're just so dreamy and it just leaves a lot to the imagination I will tell you that the Raven Black by Our Alchemy is, is gorgeous, and I love Our Alchemy. Um, it's not wanting to hold the shape, so I'm going to have to go over the flowers again. 
but the flowers themselves are, are gorgeous. And I notice, so if you're using our el alchemy, be sure that when you're blowing, you blow down and up. You don't want to really, um, if you watch how I'm holding my um, puffy, it's at an angle, but I am blowing down and up. It's a little bit different than my typical flower, but it seems to be working very well. I will see you at the end results. The Raven Black has a sparkle in it. I love it. And you can see, do you see the, you can see the glare kind of um, like a film. Do you see that velvet? Look at that flower. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. This one. Again, I, I am in love with our alchemy, but you don't get a lot, but for a small canvas like this, look at this one. We'll go down and close. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Let's go up. This is a 14 inch oval. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here tonight. This TLP Velvet is amazing. You need to give it a try. Let's head over to Camille's channel. See you there.